What a beautiful day. I'm going to go out and walk around and show you what's going on. It's early in the morning, I'm making plans. Show off some of the equipment we've got pulled out and running. And, um, I don't know, enjoy the weather. It's beautiful, sunny, maybe 50 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning. It's May 12th or 13th. So here was the disc. It is the disc that we used to, uh, after moldboard plowing, that new uh, pasture ground, old pasture ground that's going into corn. So we've got one more pass to go with that after the turkey litter spread. It's the grain drill I'm going to take out um, later this afternoon and drill some grass seed and clover into an old pasture. The pasture, I don't know if this is going to show up. Way off in the distance, I don't know if it's going to show up. There's a hill just in front of those trees and it's about 100 feet tall. So that's the pasture that my neighbor Rodrigo um, is going to put his sheep on with some electric fencing. Once the pasture gets reestablished, Got these out of the shed yesterday. The trailer had all the dual tractor tires on it. Took them off and put them on the west side, the back side of this new shed, stored in there semi permanently. This loader was really helpful in doing that. Those tires are heavy. Um, the next thing with this loader is to take this adapter, it's on the pallet, it's going to show up. It's an adapter to get you from the deer style loaders, quick attach, they're not quick attached, they're deer style connectors, so that I can use the rock bucket, which is here has the quick attach skid steer attachments on it. Um, there are the things in here I gotta get ready. We, this was the three bottom plow we used to plow up that 15 acres of old pasture. It worked really well. I mean, considering it's 60 years old, it's a bit of a rough ride to 4020. Um, so we will take the 4020 out of here, drop the plow, Get the wood chipper out that's in the corner. I've got a bunch of wood to chip branches. Pull out the rock bucket, pull out the bush hog. The field cultivator has to come out. That old disc can stay back there for now. I gotta get the planter out and get that kind of tuned up. It should be almost ready to go to plant the corn. And then this stuff over here, this will, the, the flail mower will be used to mow the clover uh, in mid-July, but the pickup head is back there. That and the swather, along with the combine, will be used to harvest the wheat in August. Oh, and my tine weeder is right here. That's going to be used on the corn. Um, well, let's walk around here. I'll show you all those tires. It's kind of interesting, nothing else. So I'm putting a little patch of wheat right out here. Um, because I want to be able to test out the pickup head and the swather before I drag it 12 miles south. And uh, if I have any issues, I can resolve them here where all the tools are. So around the side of the shed, this is what we were setting up yesterday. So I have three sets of duels for three different tractors here. And I've got some old tin from the old shed that I'll put rather than take up valuable space inside the shed um, floor space I'll just make little huts around these things to protect them from the sun and the wind and they'll pretty much stay out here on pallets and on concrete blocks uh, relatively permanently the only tractor I keep the duels on is the 7140 the one that was pulling the disc I don't know maybe here you can see that hill a little bit better but it's the farm just north of our ground here and in the foreground here, you can see there's still some residual clover in this. This is all going to be planted in corn, and the rows are going to go north-south, you know, away from me, toward, away from the camera, and back toward me. And um, the, 
pasture we plowed up is in between the clover ground and the hill. There's a 15 acre rectangle and then way far off in the corner over there are 92 tons of turkey litter that's about to get spread on that pasture. So that's kind of the tour. Like I said, beautiful day. Got everything cleaned out. I'm gonna drill the wheat. Oh, and then the boom lift is for sale. But I've got to trim up the bottom of those uh, pine trees before I sell the thing. Sell it in four or five days. Well, that's about all for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, well, stay tuned.